Hello. Hi, Chai. Just to show you guys a comparison. Currently, she is as big as a small Chanel classic flat bag. Previously, she was as big as my iPhone. Just about. You're growing, aren't you, madam? And she's teething. Very much so. But she's learnt how to sit. She knows her name. Chai, sit. Sit. Good girl, Chai. Picked up these amazing Prada boots. You guys already know I've got the long version. Obviously, I had to get the short version. And I just want to shout out Melissa, who managed to actually get hold of these and send them to me in Dubai. She's absolutely amazing. Literally within seconds, she's like, I can get them. And she got them. Transfer the money so fast, so easy. I don't think she's a personal shopper, but like she saw that I wanted them and she went out of her way to get these for me. So thank you so much. I love you. These are ridiculous. I'm gonna try them on now. I was gonna do like a proper unboxing, but it's very dark and it's very late. And I wanted to try them on obviously now to make sure that they fit. And obviously I didn't want to crease them before I actually properly showed you. Okay, so I've just put them on and they genuinely feel the same as the long ones, obviously, but these actually have like nylon. They're not completely full leather and they have like these little things at the top. I don't think the long ones have them. So far they're pretty comfortable, but I've only literally done like two steps in them. I think they look really cute. I was surprised they actually look good on because usually obviously I'm five foot so I was expecting them to look so awful and cut me off but I actually really like them with black jeans obviously they'll probably look really good well I say obviously but I don't know probably they'll look good with leather pants and potentially like a little white shirt dress and we love these little pockets on the new ones they've got like these they've got the Prada logo I don't think the old ones have them we had family over today so we put her in a little dress and she loves it. She loves walking around the house in these little dresses. I haven't put any bows or anything in her hair yet. Um, it's quite short, so I don't want to do that. And we're still waiting on her little Louis Vuitton collar, aren't we? <laughs> I'm going to have to leave these in the box or put them somewhere where she can't reach them because currently she's into chewing my shoes and obviously I don't want that with these. She actually chewed the laces of my of a pair of my Chanel shoes and I'm kind of sad about it but also not super mad because I can still get them again in store. In fact, I have like a pretty similar pair so it's not that deep. <laughs> so we are going to prepare you the book. Mm -hmm. It will be registered today and in about a month. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, well, you fall asleep? Don't huh? try, try. Uh, oh, you fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> In about a month, we can do the rabies vaccination, and then she will be for the for the year. Don't Perfect. The year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good girl, Chai. Well done. I am so lazy. I still haven't taken this bag back to Louis Vuitton to get the tag removed, but let's have a peek because she did so well. I'm so proud of you, Chai. Well done, Chai. Just at the vets, and she did so well. I'm honestly so proud of her. She cried a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. The doctor did say I could leave, but obviously I want to be there for her, so I stayed. No. Chai Chai. I'm so proud of you. We're going to have to keep an eye on her today because she's going to be a bit groggy, but she seems fine now. Okay, so tomorrow I have a really exciting video interview and I realised that my nails are just not okay. I was supposed to go get my lashes done this morning but obviously I overslept because I ended up having a nap for longer than usual the night before or the day before and um, somehow really ruined my sleeping pattern but it's fine. So now I'm going to go get my nails done at my favourite place. And then I actually need to get a facial, but literally BioLite is fully booked. I can never even get a facial at my own clinic. It's, it's awful. <laughs> So 
so yesterday I bought something from Chanel and now today this morning I've got an exciting well this afternoon I've got an exciting shoot and I realized I'd run out of some of my favorite makeup pieces so fortunately this website delivered within two hours I literally ordered it at like 3 a.m. last night only a few things I've obviously got a NARS Laguna bronzer this was um a gift with my purchase what is this oh this is the code 8 um, eyeliner and smudger kind of pencil of course the NARS climax mascara and a little version of the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base I used to use this a lot a while ago but I stopped using it I've stopped using primers but I do really want to try this out again hopefully it's still compatible with my skin um, and you decide what I'm wearing I'm doing two outfits and I'm getting ready at the studio on camera. And Madam Chai is now a little over, well, she's actually three months today. As you guys can see, she's grown considerably compared to my hand. She used to be about a handful and now she's two handfuls. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's so naughty. We have not forgotten about Mr. Louie. Mr. Louie, oh, she gets jealous. She gets very jealous. Louis, I love you. Okay, so from Chanel, nothing large. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, no, no. We'll keep this up. The full yeah. winter tights. Oh, nice. Yeah. Chai, chai. Maybe make something. Okay, so these are my go-to everyday shoes, but because I have a shoot today, I'm hoping they're in here. I think I'm gonna wear the new ones. There we go. Got these ages ago and I still haven't taken them out of the box. I definitely need to get another pair. These are honestly my go-to sneakers. I absolutely love them. They're amazing. I'm like five minutes late to this shoot, but um, it's fine, it's not too far. I completely forgot about my mask. Ugh, I hate roundabouts. People here just don't know how to use roundabouts. Okay, it's about 45 degrees today. I'm, I'm boiling. Um, it's not foundation on my lips. I've actually put some BB cream on because I'm not having the best skin day today, which is unfortunate. I'm supposed to be doing my makeup on camera. I'm having a bad skin day, but I'm not gonna just back out last minute and be like, yeah, listen, I'm having an allergic reaction. I can't come, because that is super unprofessional. But it's fine, we'll work with it. I mean, I feel like the fact that I'm doing it um, whilst my skin looks like this, it's okay, it's fine. You've gotta show that, you know, can't look perfect 24-7 and I definitely don't look perfect 24-7. How am I wearing sweatpants in this heat? It'll make sense once this interview comes out eventually. But um yeah so got my little bag of goodies, got a change of clothes, got my makeup. Did I bring brushes? Oh god I hope I bought brushes. Okay. So I just made it to the offices where I'm filming. God. Woo, focus. Um, I'm pretty stressed because I'm hot and also, oh, no. Um, also, it's hot. Did I say that? I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm stressed and I'm hot. I forgot my mask on my way there. So I had to turn around and go back and get a mask. Stay safe, guys. Be responsible. I don't know if I ever mentioned <laughs> I actually used to work in this building. Well, I interned here. But I'll be talking more about that in this interview. Oh, yeah, I interned here and um, it made me realise I don't actually want to be in publishing. I don't like media. <laughs> I don't want to be an editor. I don't want to be a journalist. So that's why I didn't study journalism. But obviously for Elise, it was a different situation because she decided she wanted to do it. Strange. Oh, 
options. Nice. The color contrast is so good. Yeah, that's so good. Nope. It's like last like in a very contrast blue chair. It's more jump out. Yeah, this yeah. looks more like casual. Cool. Do I have a mirror to do my makeup? <laughs> No, I'll just use my compact, it's fine. Gotcha. <laughs> I hope I have it. So, <laughs> I just got to the studio, which is where I used to come behind the scenes on all the shoots I used to intern at, and I'm with my amazing host for today. Can you say my name? Ruhana. Oh, yeah, good yeah. job. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing an exciting show. Sorry, I'll let you take over. I'm so used to it. <laughs> we're doing which show? What are we doing? We're do I'm doing my makeup <laughs> on camera. We're doing the ITP live show, guys. Check it out. It's on YouTube. Obviously. I will link it down below. It'll definitely be out before. When is this coming out? Uh, this Thursday. Oh wow. Okay. Before Fast this video, editing. I think. Probably yeah. before this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I might put this video up before. I have nothing like relevant to put. Okay. okay. By the way, I was telling you. So I went into YouTube to do my research more about the questions. Yeah. And I thought you were pregnant. And then <laughs> It, it, it was your dog. Bring the baby. It was your dog. <laughs> it was okay. the dog. And then actually, with the question. So, you're pregnant, tell us more about it. And then my, my intro goes like, that's her daughter. I'm like, okay, that's her daughter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I know. I was, I was really, I did a really bad clickbait there, but like, it got the views. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. She's still my child. Did you say so? Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna check the set. If you want to check the set, I'll do probably Okay, cool. <laughs> So today I'm going to introduce you guys to the Petite Loungewear um, collection which I'm currently wearing. Um, we're doing like a transitional thing so casual and then like day to night kind of vibe with the brand because that's what I'm working on right now. I thought it would be relevant to talk about because a lot of you guys don't really know a lot about it or about me so it's going to be a fun little video and um, I actually packed all my makeup I don't know how I'm gonna do this my battery's kind of dying I'm gonna have to film on my iPhone but makeup's all in there brushes it's so important to carry a lint roller when you're wearing black on shoes And it's Lady Mirza. Hi. <laughs> Let's have a sound effect of people clapping. So now we're gonna add a sound effect of people clapping. Just go like, okay? <laughs> okay. Now she's a huge YouTuber, yes. No. Yet she's very nervous because she the only people she interviews is herself when they're stuck to camera. So that's why she's like massively nervous. Anyways, so today we're gonna talk about Today we're going to talk about how to become a luxury fashion influencer in this amazing year, 2020. And meanwhile, Lady is going to do her own makeup and change her outfit. So stay tuned. Let's go. What? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, should we start? Yeah. Okay. How do we start? Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a question. So for your followers now, I'm there guys. Are you following me? Yeah, but I know. Yeah. That's for her. <laughs> Today and... Hey. Is that a filter on there? <laughs> no, that's, that's her actual taste. <laughs> wow! Guys, that's the shoot. Just finished the shoot. How long? What's the time? Yeah, that's her actual taste. Oh, that was like two hours long? Yeah. An hour and a half long. Oh, you're filming and I'm filming a lot of things. Thank you so much for this amazing experience. Thank you, you're most welcome. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Thank you for the crew. Thank you for my mom for bringing me to this world, this talented creature that she is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was so much fun. Um, I haven't done video shoot with anyone else like that in so long. <laughs> she was very nervous at the beginning. She was laughing at everything, but eventually she did play. Thank you so much. I need to tell the world. <laughs> oh, I need to take the this mic, mic off. <laughs> okay, guys. guys, we're so professional. We even have a mic. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For you, Adi. Thank you guys so much. You were amazing. Oh, my skin looks so bad today. Really? Have you seen mine? No, it actually looks so bad. I hope you have that blurring effect. <laughs> lovely day it is today so I just finished my shoot and that was so much fun I haven't done a video shoot like that like a proper interview in a very long time so I was a bit nervous in the beginning um, I talked about some personal things which I haven't really spoken about properly online and if you guys want to find out more about the things that I spoke about then I'll be more than happy to do a video on that because I feel like I don't really get too personal with you guys here it's more just fashion and beauty and random things so it would be nice to actually like talk to you guys um but it's always easier having someone interview you and ask you questions because I don't know what you want to be I don't really know what to talk about sometimes um it wasn't the easiest thing to do my makeup with no like proper mirror or like table situation but it was okay we worked with it um as i said my skin is not looking its greatest today it's a very bad day for me i was genuinely considering calling off the shoot because i just i don't leave my house if my face looks like this but i felt like it was important to come on be real be raw keep it 100 with you guys as always um because no one looks perfect or has amazing skin every day and if you do then i hate you automatically and so does everyone else that deals with this stuff. Down. Good girl. Sit look good boy. So it is the 23rd of September. 22nd September? I'm not sure. And Chai is a little over, well, she's just turned three months. You need to get a new collar because this is a little too small for you. This is actually a cat collar. She was so small, we had to get her a little kitten collar. And she's actually just learned how to go down, which is amazing. I'm teaching her to leave now. She knows how to sit. She knows how to come when called. I really want to teach her in a different language. If anyone knows, I know you can actually teach dogs in a different language. But can they be bilingual? I know Louis is a bit too old to be bilingual. But I feel like Chai, if I spoke to her in French... <laughs> leave <laughs> she could potentially get it look how big she is now you are massive growing so fast it makes me so sad because I was looking at old videos of her and I was like wow she was so tiny she loves Louis so much but he's still not really that into her which is shocking because I thought he'd be I thought he'd really like love her and like want a friend but I feel like I got this dog a little too late because he's become really like lethargic and like old now before he used to love to run around and jump about but I've only really realized this ever since I've got her that he's become quite different which is sad ow she just bites if anyone knows what to do with this puppy biting situation help <laughs> because it's actually getting painful now. Like before it was cute because it was like little nibbles, but now it's getting a little bit painful. Like she'll break skin.